Hey everybody, welcome in that uh, new Golem tutorial which shows you how to install the Golem character pack for Unreal. So as soon as you ask for an evaluation, you should get this link here which is packages.golem.com which holds all the link for the Maya, the Katana, the Houdini, the Unreal plugins but also the Golem character pack and samples. Within this section, you'll find a for Maya section, a for Unreal Engine section. So let's say you've been doing a simulation within Maya and you are using the character pack assets and uh, you'd like uh, to render those within Unreal. So before you had to, you know, bring all the textures, bring all the characters, do the shading variation for you. So it was pretty cumbersome. Uh, but with the Golem character pack for Unreal, we got you covered. Everything has been done for you. So all the shading variation has been taken care of. All the character conversions have uh, has also been um, done for you. So you just need to go ahead and download that package. So I'm going to uh, download that uh, pack here for Unreal. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the exact same version uh, than the version of the regular character pack I'm using. And I also want to make sure that you, I'm using the same version than the Golem for Maya version I'm using. So I'm going to save this here on my disk. And as soon as uh, you've saved it, you end up with a zip file that we can unzip. And when we unzip and jump into this, we can see we've got a content folder. Uh, so content is the predefined word uh, to share uh, your asset within your Unreal project. If we jump into this, we've got a Golem characters directory. And finally, if we jump into that one, we've got one directory per character of the character pack. If we jump into any of those, we'll see that we've got all the textures being converted as an Unreal asset. We can see we've also got the character being converted as an Unreal asset. So now we just have to include this into a Unreal project. So let's jump into my Unreal project. It usually looks like this. And you can see you've got a content directory as well. So this is, as I said, this is the predefined uh, place where you can put your, I'm going to put your assets. And uh, here, up to you to decide where you'd like to put those. Uh, on my side, I created an asset directory. And within that asset directory, I just uh, copy pasted my golem characters. If we jump into this, we can see the exact same hierarchy. As soon as we open our project within Unreal, um, we now have our content directory, uh, which is a predefined uh, folder once again. And uh, it just replicates the exact same hierarchy that you have on your file disk. So it means that uh, I've got my assets there, my gun character there. And if I jump into that one, I can see all my characters. Let's uh, see how each character looks like. So this is the casual man character, for example. I have all the textures as I said. Uh, I've got uh, the skeletal mesh. So the skeletal mesh is where you can see all the different textures. You can see all the meshes. Uh, being assembled and assigned to the same character here. So just to check that everything is proper and it is we can also uh, Open the skeleton the skeleton will give you the skeleton hierarchy So this is why we're seeing that uh, you need to make sure that you are using the same version from the golden character pack for unreal than the one for Maya so if we made any change, you know with in the geometry assignment or in the skeleton uh, everything will be aligned together and finally, we can pay attention maybe to the material, like the body material, which holds some texture diversity. So you can see we've been covering you on this as well. The ManMD body, uh, for example, material has a switch, which allows you to switch between the three different textures. It's also connected to the right shading attribute. So no need to make any manual work for this. And, um, you know, if we want to test this, what we can do is just open the Golem library. I've been doing a uh, simulation cache within Maya. Please uh, check the other tutorials to know more about those. And um, you know, if I bring uh, that cache within my scene, which is um, you know using all the characters from the character pack, I can see everything into my viewport uh, with the nice skinning, with the nice geometry assignment, and the nice shading assignment. So here we can see we've got the cars with the different colors. We've got the man and the woman with different textures. Uh, the soldier and the horses once again with different diversity in terms of um, horse color. So everything works out of the box. So you just have to you know create your scene with the column character pack assets and uh, and just bring it in and it will connect automatically as well within the column cache nodes. Uh, it refers on nodes, so we're gonna fetch for the whole uh, project directory. Figure if we can find something called casual man, casual woman. So make sure that you just have one version of those into your assets and uh, it will work uh, properly. 
So hope that helps and uh, see you into the next video.